Hi, and welcome to this very exciting introduction to Maya series. I'm Henning from Flip Normals, and I'll be taking you through this entire course. The course is made in two parts. The first part will cover how to actually use and operate Maya. This is where we learn where all the tools are, where all the features are, and how Maya works from a more theoretical point of view. And then in the second part, we're going to be going through making this old Greek Spartan style helmet. Maya is an incredibly powerful software, and that has its ups and downs. One of the ups is that, well, it's incredibly powerful. You can do most things in Maya, and it's used in productions all over the world. But one of the downs of it is that it's, since it does have this uh, impression in the industry that it's used everywhere and it is this powerful, it can also be a bit tricky to learn sometimes. Some of the things are a bit needlessly tricky, it requires a lot of clicks, but once you really understand how it works and you start to optimize your workflow, it's an incredibly intuitive software to use in most cases. Still some quirks here and there, and we will of course cover the most common one. In this series, we will go, we'll be going through how to get started with navigation. We will cover modeling tools, some basic rigging and animation. We'll be covering how to do hair using XGen. And we'll also be com covering uh, some pipeline features and then finally looking into lighting, rendering and shading using Arnold. Maya is probably the most widely used 3D software in the 3D industry. So if you're interested in seeking employment in the field, actually getting jobs in this field, learning Maya is going to be a huge help. My background is as a 3D artist in the visual effects industry in London, and we use Maya for everything. So my background is very is very focused on production, which means that the techniques we're going to be covering now, they're going to be production techniques. We're not just going to be cowboying around and showing you all these fancy features which can't be used for anything. We're going to be showing you how to work in a very methodical, very careful and really fast and optimized way. So. In the next chapters, we're going to be starting looking into how the navigation and the inter interface looks like. So stay tuned and I'll see you then.